Nee. Okay. Kick out the door. And we're off. Whoa, too fast, too fast, slow, slow. Whoa. I can't run that fast, Maple. Good job. So with this, there's a constant slight pressure that's being given to the toy at the end. So if she lets it go, it's, it's pulling away from her. She can feel that. So it's kind of like more of a prey item. And you see, I don't really have to work very hard. But I can work her really hard just because of the leverage that this gives. Good catch. Drop. Good job. Oh, do you want to film? Sit. Good. Wait. Oh, you want me? You want to hang out with me? You want to do something with me? All right, let's do something. What do you want to do? Hey, don't you want to steal my coffee? Well, I don't like that game. Let's play a different game. Come on. We're going for a walk. You're a good girl. You're such a good girl. I never told her to heal. It's just the default behavior for when we're walking next to each other. She can go up ahead, see? It doesn't matter. I didn't tell her to be in any position. This is just the default that I create. You're the girl. So you see, she can go run up ahead and check things out. It doesn't matter. But I didn't tell her to be anywhere. We're just walking along, enjoying a walk. I don't expect a perfect heel out in the woods. I expect perfect heels on sidewalks and in stores and whatnot. In fact, while we're out adventuring, I like when my dog is just kind of orbiting around me and checking stuff out, because that's the point. The point is not to have my dog in a perfect heel, well, we're out on an adventure. You want to rest?
What do you think of that? You're a good girl. Yeah. <laughs>